Air conditioning units are working overtime to try to keep homes cool across the Ozarks. And that has heating and cooling companies working just as hard to keep up with demand. Color 10's Ashley Eddy is live in Springfield after talking to a family who's in need of repairs. Ashley? Bailey and Steve, technicians say a lot of these units here in our area are only designed for up to 100 degrees, making it really hard right now to keep up. Austin Kendrick and his family recently went on vacation for 10 days. While they were gone, like many others would, they turned the thermostat up. When they returned, they turned it back down to realize there was an odd smell and the air wasn't working so great. He said that there was a, a little bit of mold buildup. All up in that area. And he said with the, the hot air and the, the dark, damp conditions that are down there in our basement, um, said that it just kind of built up and got into the, the ductwork a little bit. So. Uh, um, I guess from us trying to save a little bit of money, it ended up probably costing us a little bit of money. Kendrick says he made a quick call to get it repaired. With the, the heat wave that's going on right now and then having two little girls, um, you know, you just, we have to do everything we can to, to take precaution and, and make sure things are taken care of around the house. Brett Callahan with Callahan Heating and Cooling says many others are in the same boat as the temperatures continue to climb. It's, it's here to stay and I have a feeling it's going to cause a lot, a lot more uh, failures in air conditioning units. So uh, the longer these things run and the more they're kicking on and off, the higher your chance for failure. There's lots of breakdowns with this extreme heat, uh, lots of blown up capacitors, uh, which are on the outside units, and uh, that just causes is the unit to totally stop working. Uh, probably the second most common thing is low refrigerant charge. Well, he says it's a hard job. He's able to bring much needed relief to people. There's desperation in their voice because some of the houses are getting up there close to 100 degrees if you know it's been out for an extended period of time. While it can be a big debate, Callahan tells me it's best to set your thermostat to 78 for efficiency, 72 for comfort. Reporting tonight in Springfield, Ashley Eddy, Ozarks First.